Hello, it's Chow. We're here with the Chow Garden series. I don't remember what episode this is. I think it's episode 36 thing. I'm um, sorry for a bit of a wait on videos again. Um, this channel didn't get a single upload, I think, for like five, six days. Sorry about that. Uh, I've been busy and um, I don't know. I had my priorities on the other channel, I guess. So, um, this episode we just saw we were just working on Cosmo. We got the running and power up. And now Cosmo can actually run. Um, you'll notice once he starts walking, once he gets up. He will actually do like the running thing, so it means he's getting a little bit faster, which is good to see. He is a Sonic Chow after all, or he's a basic Sonic Chow right now, so he should be pretty fast. So it's good we did that. Um, I would like to work on Steel and Daedra, because that's what some of you guys said. But um, they're not evolved yet, and I really don't want to mess up their stuff. So we're just going to kind of leave them as they are. Um, still, maybe we could do more swimming on, but I don't really want to get into the power on Steel yet, just because I don't want to mess it up. So. Leaf steel as it is. I'll actually give this. Oh, this one's already been used. Um, I'll probably take a chow out of here maybe. And we got the the food. The tree's finally grown. It's given the food. I think it's called a tasty food. Um, I think is the exact name of it. I'm gonna check for you guys because I can't remember. I think it's tasty food. I'm pretty sure you can go and sell it. So let's go see. Um, I already took all the chow out of the kindergarten. They're all back in the garden. So I'm probably gonna go to the races and just quickly make sure they're all in the right garden. So I don't know. So there might be some in the wrong garden. I might forget about. It. I don't know. So let's see, uh, you have a very rare item, I'll buy it for 10 rings, uh, I don't know, I think it's called the Tasty Fruit, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure you can buy it normally in Sonic Adventure 1, I can't remember, um, I think that's what it's called, I don't know, but, uh, don't think it has really any special abilities besides, um, just feeding the chow, so, uh, yeah, and that tree was planted by Casper, I believe, if I remember correctly, so, uh, oh, our food disappeared. <laughs> Into the garden, our food's gone. Um, and that was the first food, so we're gonna have to feed uh, steel over here, just a regular old dark garden food. All right. Um, so this episode probably just gonna be hanging out in here for a little while, just trying to get uh, guys to evolve here soon. I mean, they won't be evolving if we're doing races or anything. We need to spend time in the actual garden for them to evolve. So maybe we'll work on magic a bit more. I'm not too sure. We'll kind of see. Magic we need to do flying on, so I actually do have a couple of condors here, so I can do that. Um, and thank you, uh, Samantha, for the uh, suggestion to go get power animals at Rail Canyon or uh, Skyrail. Sorry, Rail Canyon is that? Pretty sure that's a Sonic Heroes level. I'm not sure, but uh, thank you for suggesting. That's where I got all these animals from. So Ninja here. What was Ninja supposed to be again? A swim flying. So we could also give some flying possibly to Ninja. I really like Ninja. Still probably my favorite Chow. Of all suggestion Chow so far, I really like the way Ninja looks. And Steel's gonna look a lot like Ninja here. Um, once we get Steel going. So that'll be nice. Oh, we didn't use this one here. We can give this to Cosmo. And um, eventually I'd like to work on Cosmo's flying and swimming just to make Cosmo like somewhat decent. Um, the problem is that might mess up his power and I'm gonna have to do a lot of work to try and reverse it. So um, at some point, I'm probably going to raise those other stats on Cosmo. Um, I'm going to try and raise um, Steel and Daedra a little bit differently. Um, right as soon as they evolve, I'm going to raise the stats that they aren't becoming. So Steel is supposed to be a swim uh, power according to William Bolding. So um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to raise probably flying and running right after he evolves, maybe a bit of swimming, and then raise power last so that it can become a... Um, a swim power, but uh, there's a bit more to it. I'll get into that once we actually do it. It's a bit more complicated than just simply doing that. But um, so should be evolving here. Steel, uh, steel should be evolving soon. Same with Deja. Um, Deja's supposed to be a run flying. So again, um, give some more flying to Deja once Deja evolves. So Deja should be coming soon. Again, you can look on the spikes on its head. It does look like it's getting pretty good. Same goes for Steel. So. Um, these chow will be evolving soon, that's for sure. And let's see, we got some more fruit growing here. So that's good to see. And I want to get a dark chow, a really good dark chow, whether it's Steel or um, Ninja here, to go and beat the dark races. To um, try and unlock the jukebox in here, the boom box, um, the bouncy ball, and I think there's another item in here, I can't remember. Uh, we might have already unlocked it even, I'm not too sure. I'll have to. I don't know, I can't remember. I think there's a third item. The boom box, there's the bouncy ball, there's one in each garden. And I feel like there's something else. The normal garden has the uh, the uh, jack in the box. The hero garden has the uh, rocking horse. And I can't remember what this one's third is. I don't know. 
I can't remember. I'm sure you guys know it, so comment below if you do know it. But, um... Yeah, so we'll probably just mess around here. Just continue feeding Chow. Maybe maybe we can work on Iru. I don't... Actually, no, probably not, because I don't want to um, change Iru into something else besides the Shadow Chow. We got... Ninja, I really like Ninja, such a beautiful chow, and pretty good stats-wise, too. Eventually, we'll probably have to work on um, Ninja's power and running here. So I think Ninja is going to be a good chow, so I'd like to work on that here soon. And some of you guys have been uh, asking, when am I going to take chow suggestions? I'm thinking probably sometime soon, I'm not too sure. The problem is, again, we got too many chow already, as it is, and actually, I'm going to do this now just because I, you guys, have, I said we should do this a couple episodes ago, and I haven't. Um, we are going to release a couple of chow. It breaks my heart to do this, but um, we're going to have to do it. Uh, we're going to release Pinky. I'm sorry, Pinky. You're a good chow. We didn't have you for very long in the Hero Garden. Um, very new chow, and um, I really liked you. You were a cool chow, but to people avoid um, clearing up room in our garden, we're kind of clearing up the normal garden just because there's not really any chow we really raise in here. So, I'm sorry, Pinky. The saddest thing ever. Chow will have a happy life in a faraway forest. You will never see your Chow again. Once you say goodbye to Chow, you will never see that Chow again. Are you sure? Yes. You will never see your Chow again. Are you absolutely sure? Alright. Say goodbye. Goodbye, Chow. Take care. Chow's returned to a faraway forest. I'll surely have a happy life. That picture is so sad. Just seeing the little chow there is like a homeless chow. He's got uh, um, his little uh, whatever he's got in his thing on his stick. It's very sad. And uh, we're going to do the same thing to Spyro. Sorry, Spyro. I don't not as attached to you because we didn't really have you for as long. But holy crap, I actually raised your flying quite a bit while we had you. 52 levels, but sadly we're not a very strong chow. So we'll go doing it again. Sorry to put you guys through all this heartbreak, but uh, it's gotta happen. <sighs> yes, this one will go quick. Just to, oh, whoops. Yes. Yes, this was the saddest thing as a kid. I remember, um, I don't remember why, but I was releasing some chow, and I actually started crying at one point when I was like six. I don't remember why I was crying. I was just sad, I guess, but uh, that happened. So... Chipola eventually is a chow we could probably uh, release at some point. Rascal I'm going to keep for now just because uh, yellow is a cool color, I guess. I don't know. And Silver is another chow that we will um, consider getting rid of at some point. So hopefully you guys aren't too upset about the, all this. But uh, again, we need to clear up room. I'm just going to quickly check to make sure all the chow are in the right garden here um, before we move along. Because there might be some chow in the wrong garden. I don't know. All right, let's see. Hmm... Uh, normal garden looks good. Wow, they actually came out in the right gardens after they uh, left the kindergarten. Um, I might have to move Aru or Mizu or Mizu um, back up to the hero garden just to create more room in the dark garden. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably move Aru just because Mizu's I think a bit younger and Mizu's a bit younger. So um, and Mizu was kind or Miz Mizu was kind of suggested by you guys. So. I think I'll go with that. Aerie will probably bump back up to the hero garden just so at least Chow can breed if they um, go into a mating season or whatever. Because if there's eight Chow in a garden, a Chow, even if it's going through a natural, natural mating cycle or you've heated a heart fruit, it will not actually um, have the flowers around it just because there's not enough room in the garden for it to actually have an egg or lay an egg. So, uh, yeah, let's go get Aru out of here. Not because I don't like Aru, I actually really like Aru. Probably one of my favorite Chow we have. But um, we'll put you back with the adult chow instead of you being here with all the children. So there we go. Bring you up. Aru will probably start working on more soon because I really like Aru as well. Or um, Mizu, sorry. Um, Aru we're done working on just because it's adult. An adult chow, it's already past its second evolution. It's just, we'll just keep it as it is. Alright, so we'll give you that. And uh, just had a quick glance at uh, all of the... Uh, Hero Garden Chow for any of you that want to see. We got Dash here. Star for any of you that don't remember Star. Or maybe you're new to watching this series. I don't know. We got Poncho here. Poncho and Dash were the two first Chow we had. Um, Aru's in here now. We got Shimmer, the first Jewel Chow I've ever had in this game. And oh my god, his eyes look kind of creepy like that. But there you go. There's Shimmer. I really like Shimmer. Shimmer's quite awesome. He's really fat. 
really like Shimmer there. I'll give him some food. Oh, our star can steal it. Sorry, Shimmer. Eru. And Tornado here, which is the strongest chow we have. So, there you go. Take the tornado out. Be it, and there we go. So now we'll leave this garden. Go back to the dark garden. I'll probably put a chow or two into the kindergarten. And then maybe we'll do a race or two, and then we'll end off the episode. Bit of a shorter one. Um, just because, well, I don't know. Uh, we could do uh, magic real quick. I'll just quickly give it some condors here just because raising the flying up on it and we do have some condors here for it so fast forward this one probably won't be very long though I told you that that one would be really short um, could not get uh, uh, magic to sit down, so I just accidentally gave one to Mizu and then just decided to give the second one to Mizu anyways. So eventually I'll probably take the animal parts off of Mizu and actually try and, uh, or Mizu and try and make it an actual type that we want. But, uh, we'll do that a lot later. Um, what are these two? Oh, they're doing spin dancing! They're doing spin dance in here! Someone said, who was it? Someone said they were happy that I put their chow in the kindergarten. Yay, Magic is going to learn spin dance. I wouldn't find my chow dancing as cute when they dance. There you go. You just saw Magic dancing. Hopefully you like that uh, Pikachu baby cakes or Olivia. I think it's your real name. I'm guessing off of your YouTube account. There you go. There's Magic dancing, the chow you suggested. So um, hopefully you enjoy that. There you go. So that's why I want to put chow in the kindergarten. Because it's cute when they do little things like that. It looked kind of weird with Casper just because Casper um, obviously doesn't have a body. So you couldn't really see the dance. But... Uh, that's pretty cute, and I think it's nice to see little things like that. Um, reminds you how cute Chow really are, you know, and they're just walking around kind of boring, doing nothing. You know, it's not too exciting, but uh, occasionally they'll pull out a trumpet, or they'll dance, or they'll start singing. Um, it gets fun, so... Yeah, um, let me see. What Chow should I put in the kindergarten? I think we could probably put Ninja back in. I don't know if Ninja was there for the uh, spin dance, but uh, we're going to put him in now. So, um, go up here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. I don't think I'll put four chow in, in here again. Um, there we go. Put ninja tambourine. Nice. Um, eventually, I'd like to get the chow to learn all of the instruments because that'd be kind of a that'd be a cool video to make to show off every single thing that a chow can learn at the kindergarten. I don't know all the things they can learn. I'm not sure. It's something I'll have to maybe experiment with. That and how to get jewel chow are two tutorial videos I'm kind of considering right now. Um, the jewel chow ones is one that I'm already kind of in the making of. So. Um, Stay tuned for that. I should have a video coming soon on how to get a jewel chow in, in this game, even though I'm sure a lot of you guys already know how to. Um, I'm probably going to make a video on that, similar to my uh, chow tips, tricks, and uh, secrets video. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that. Or uh, the one that's how to save your chow from death. Uh, if you haven't seen those, I highly suggest you watch them. They're actually on my chow i69 channel. If you go on the channel, chow plays games, it's on the right. You can click uh, the uh, chow i69, you can search it there or whatever. But, um, yeah, I'm going to make more videos like that. And they'll be on this channel instead. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy those. Alright, I think we'll probably just leave it at two for this episode. We'll go do one quick race with maybe one of the younger Chow. Um, one of the babies. And then we'll end this one here. So, again, I'd really like to thank you for watching. I'm glad so many of you guys have actually um, changed over to this channel. I'm really happy about that. And all the likes. Thank you. 19 likes on the last video. Thank you, guys. That uh, means a lot. So um, I'm glad to see you guys are really liking this series. So let's actually go to beginner races. Let's try and get um, one of the baby guys, um, possibly, you know, some of the stuff you can unlock from beginner races. So uh, Mizu, I, Mizu has not done any beginner races. Casper did all of them already because he planted a tree. Magic could probably do one or two. We'll see. Magic could probably do, um, I think it's Stump Valley. We'll see. Or is it... Yeah, Stump Valley. Let's see. How does Magic do on this one? Level 3? Magic should be able to do it. Got level 30 in flying. Don't know. Be close. We'll see. If we have a decent amount of stamina, we should be able to do it. So, we'll see how this goes. How, how will Magic do? We saw Magic do the spin dance. Now we're going to try to race with Magic. I don't know. It's, it's hard to match so many Chow and make them all strong. So, we'll see. Some of our Chow aren't as strong as the others. 
and pretty much all of the Charlie suggested you guys aren't aren't very strong yet just because I haven't uh, I'm trying to balance all of them out trying to make them all decent instead of like having two really good ones the rest all being really crap so yeah, our flying is way better than theirs there we go as long as our climbing isn't too bad which it doesn't look like it is we should have this one in the bag and we definitely didn't beat the course record Casper's got that one and there you go twice as long as Casper did it but whatever still good for magic Good job, there you go. We got the nice little badge there, the nice little ribbon. And now we can, um... I don't remember what one this one locks up. Uh, maybe the rattle? The, the, oh, the watering can. So now we can, uh... No, we can't plant a tree yet. He can water trees, but, uh... He can't plant them because he doesn't have the shovel. Alright, and I am getting you guys all suggestions. I forgot to mention this. I am getting all your suggestions, you guys. I'm just not... I'm not able to take them yet. Gavin, um... He wanted me to make a Knuckles Chow. I think that's a good idea. Um, again, I can't make one, or I'm, I don't have enough room to really make all your suggestions, Chow. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we'll end this one here. Like, thank you all for watching. This is Chow. Please like, enjoy the video, and please subscribe to the end, all my content. And thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate all you guys watching, subscribing, liking the videos. It really means a lot to me. So, really appreciate if you guys did it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, have a nice day, you guys. See ya.